Yes, good morning everybody. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Arotenga Juni. Today the weather is a little bit cloudy, calm, you know, no wind, no anything. Yeah, just chill, no anything. It is just cloudy, you know. But I guess maybe some coming time it's going to be opening up. I want to take this special opportunity to welcome both of you to this YouTube channel. I call this channel a channel of greatness. It is not that I'm bragging. No, I don't. But it is because of the good deeds that the channel has been doing. Not to me, because I'm also included, but to different people that we came across. Yesterday, I have to say thank you because I was the second guest but I would have been, it would have been very, very big embarrassment if maybe people had a lot of uh, targets on me. How much am I going to be reaching towards what they call me to do? But I have to say for sure, thank you so much, our dearest donors. You came through to me and I gave out a total of 21,100 Kenyan shillings. That is including the people. By the way, people, I realize the community, there are some people who love me. Because I called, hey, whoever want to help me in this fundraising to come in front. And the people themselves donated a sum of 1,100 Kenyan shillings. So with me, I had got 20,000 through with the help of my donors, our donors. Then I added, so it was 21,100 Kenyan shillings. Boom. And again, I'm so much happy because we challenged the first guest whom was uncle, who is uncle to the girl that we were doing fundraising for. We challenged him it made him to at least go higher, higher, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, because he was like, no, I cannot be the first guest and this guy coming with money. You know, how I wish it would have been, we would have managed to raise 50,000. You know, how I wish uh, uh, he would have even doubled it, you know. So, but anyway, I am so much appreciateful for what you guys did for me. And may God continue blessing you every day. You making me, I look like somebody who is big in the community. Whereby now people are coming. Hey, I need to talk to you in private. I need to talk to you even when I'm, I was there. Oh, I need to talk to you. And guess what? When we just entered, the fundraising began. Because they were just waiting for at least one guest to come so that they start I am so so much happy if maybe you guys can come here I'll say thank you in person whatever we have we will eat together in case that time when you guys come we'll find that I am blessed in a good way that have made some good structures here I'll be happy for you to come and step uh, your foot here Thank you so much, one of our ladies who prayed for me. Thank you. I remember you are the first person to give me donation, to come and give my family, you know. I wanna say thank you so much and God blessings to be upon you and your family. You know, you say the tenga, I see in the future, you will do great things and of course, it was thank you so much and god thank you i am so much appreciateful because for your kindness and mercy made all these things to happen to happen guys to happen and i'm so so happy even sometimes i have got a lot of things that has been disturbing my heart sometimes i decide to keep them with me, I decide to keep them with me. But sometimes it's challenging. I sometimes get my brother, we talk. But we thank God we have been keeping on moving. 
yeah no matter how hard it is i want to say thank you so much for all the donation that we've been receiving through that great things are happening like right now seth just came early in the morning and told me hey otenga wake up we need to go plant some grass we need to go with the glass grass because that was the plan that today we wanted to weed the grass before we start our day so seth is a brother is a friend let me say now seth is a brother who turned to be a friend because he is helping me out be it charity or my personal things mr seth yeah thank you so much yeah and uh, may god bless you people were happy yesterday even though they did not understand the language yeah but i uploaded the video they laughed they got yeah. entertained you know yeah. yeah so keep on doing what you're doing and maybe you can just say hello yeah i can say uh, may god be with you uh because it's still early i can say let me greet those people morning evening and afternoon yeah it's our morning yo so we i suggest so that i help tenga to so that uh, we remove this this ones here so that uh, the grass yeah or to remain so that they can start growing so that here to be uh, grass yeah that's why we want to remove these things here so that they can remain like this yeah. uh, that plant we that plant we set it uh, yesterday but uh, uh, that's why I came here in the morning I told Otenga so that he wake up and we started very early in the morning so that we finish it early. Yeah. yeah, I can say may God be, be with you for what you have done for us in Kitembe village. So, yeah. 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 Yeah guys, that is Mr. Seth, a very funny guy. Uh, if you doesn't know Seth has got a YouTube channel, go and check it and uh, you're going to enjoy his videos. Yeah, we can't, I can't read and at the same time I'm doing a video. I am going to put him on the gumboot so that I can. I'm so glad that our videos are reaching 100 uh, likes. Some, not all. Anytime a video reaches 100 likes, I, pre I feel happy and I feel motivated, you know. So please help me out by liking this video, commenting what you think, and God will bless you abundantly yeah so this is my wife it is early in the morning here it is very cold now but uh she's healthy she's not putting on a sweater like you can see that is how it is how are you i'm fine did you enjoy yesterday vvip you being in the list of a vip guest yeah yeah maybe it is the first time in your life or yeah. It was the first time. Oh. Yeah. yeah so it was enjoyable. It was, yeah? yeah. You liked how Seth do these things. <laughs> Comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, just do whatever you're doing. We are yeah, going thank to. Thank you for the donors who supported that fundraising. No, so yeah. me. Because I just talked about it here. Yeah, you did an amazing, amazing, amazing. I was the second guest, second chief guest. Just imagine. <laughs> what, what if I would have gone with 5,000? Oh, this is what I have. <laughs> yeah. But look, it turned out to be good, you know. Yeah. So they supported us. When they make my name great, mm. you too, your name is great. When you are passing by, oh, she's the wife of Wateng. <laughs> You have to give her respect, you know. Yeah. And again, guys, you know these people now, people in the community, respect us a lot. I'm not, uh, you know, Africa. Yeah, out of all the continents, Africa, it is the one that they say minor. You know, yeah. about the minority, how people are living the standard, that kind, a standard life that they are living. You know? So in Africa, we admire the people that are re living in other continents, you know? Mm. Yeah, that is the reason as to why if you ask someone, uh, do you want to go to America or do you want to go to any country that is outside Africa? They will be like, yeah, I want to go. And you know, so people admire. So let's 
imagine like yesterday i was saying oh this one we got from usa so people were like wow this guy's talking to somebody new yeah. <laughs> so anyway guys thank you so much we are going to be catching up in meantime right now it is going to be warm. i don't know if you can get inside you give me socks today i don't want to the gum boots without socks uh there are some that are inside the bedroom i think they are a little bit old yeah we have to put the gum boots guy uh, thank you so much for listening to this video after this far keep on listening to it and god will bless you Yeah, so you remember we were here and I thank God we did manage to work extra hard until we finalize it. Nobody can do it to us. It is afternoon now because I had to do this. Yeah, we have to do this also to help us in refreshing, refreshing. We've been going so hard for some days. We've been going out to request the support for people. So, yeah. We are glad that when it rains now, it will just pure grass. And that one I had to do. Yeah, let me just show you. Even here, I planted some grass, even though it is dirty. But I planted some grass. Yeah, in the compound, we are trying to make it so clean as clean as possible you know that is what we are trying to do so right here you can see the charcoal is burning here this is Frank Frank is making charcoal you know when they burn a charcoal like this they get money to help them in their daily needs I remember uh, during Christmas we usually be burning and now yeah, we usually be burning some charcoals and uh, these charcoals we go sell it, we get money. Yeah, that is our blanket. I'll make my wife a hanging line. Yeah, we burn charcoal, we make money, we go celebrate on Christmas Day, you know. Yeah. So that is what we usually do, like that is the kind of lifestyle that we are living here, you know. Somebody asked me yesterday, uh, not yesterday, but uh, when Mama Boy was going to sell the bananas, I think it was yesterday, that was she joking or it, is it true? Yeah, that kind of banana, it might even be less of the amount that Mama Boy said, you know. Yeah. It might even be less of what Mama Boy said. Yeah, so Frank and the family, they are now looking after the cows, you know. Yeah, they are looking after the cows. Oh, yeah. oh, you're looking after the cows. You will leave coffee, go and check your charcoal to see if maybe there is something that you need to rectify. Coffee? How are you? You are grazing with your pigeon, pigeons. Oh, the cows are following you. Yeah, guys, the cows are following Frank. Whew. So, guys, I am here. And uh, please, if you are watching this video up to this far, thank you so much. Because what I am about to share with you it is a kind of a very very disappointment and uh, it is a kind of heartbreaking i am not doing this to look for views if you are watching this video i'm not doing this to get views so but i want to share with you my uh, how i feel and also you guys to give me an advice yeah because you know i've been working so hard and i've been trying to do good but you know it is just turning out that the good that we are doing 
it is turning out that it is not good anymore it is just bad yeah that is nature a very beautiful butterfly So the thing that I'm just about to share with you, it is about my family, my wife, yeah, the status of my marriage, yeah, okay, today I'm going to speak out, and please hear me out. I usually, I haven't talked about even how we met with my wife. Yeah, I know maybe somebody might want to know. Hey, Otenga, how did you meet your wife, you know? Okay, when I start from there, my wife, I meet her, I met her. Yeah, I'm trying to look at where the good lighting is so that uh, it becomes okay, you know. I become visible. Yeah, so the way I met my wife, I met my wife in Nairobi. We were staying in the same, how do you call it? In Nairobi, we call them plots or land. A plot whereby they construct houses. So they, are, they were there with her mom, in quotes. They were there with her mom. So that is how I started seeing her because I was seeing the struggle that my wife was going through the mom that she was her being with yeah <clears throat> she's her mother a sister to her mom so I was also not in a better position, but I was seeing the kind of person she was. She was very calm. She was not talking much. She was just chill, you know. And also me, I was in that line, you know, not talking much. I was just calm. And that is my problem. When I meet a stranger, I usually doesn't talk much. Yeah, so... It happened that I talked to her, but it did not go successful because as she was still in school, she had to continue with education until she finished her education in the year 2021. That one I talked to her in the year 2018. Then in the year 2021 after school, we haven't been, we haven't talking much, we were not talking much, but we were talking, you know, but not, it wasn't that now we are in relationship, you know. So it, it went along until in the year 2022, in the year 2022, January, date 8th, it was on awareness day. I was staying in Nairobi at a, stay, a certain place called Kimbo. Kimbo, Nair or okay, Kimbo Ruiru, but both are in Nairobi or Kiambu. Yeah. So uh, once we, I was there, so I went to Kibra because we were now talking. Now we had already been in relationship, we were talking. Then I went and took her from Kibra where she was staying and I came with my wife at the house where I was renting in Ruiru, Kimbo. Then life started continuing like that, you know. But you understand in between when you guys now are together, sometimes there might arise issues but you guys just find a way to solve it. Because me, I believe in one thing and I usually tell people, if the person that you are with, you are the one who knows. Nobody knows that person better than you know him. And I usually tell her, 
Nobody should tell you to leave me. It is you who should decide like, hey, Otenga, you are a bad man. I cannot stay with you. And again, there is no room of lying like you lie. You know, but I usually say something like that. So, because I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a human being and I know, like for instance, there are somebody like here, there are some people who are hurting me and I say, no, enough is enough. You can't continue hurting my feelings like that, you know? Yeah, it is dark here. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to look for a good place, guys. Let me try to check if maybe where there is sun, it is going to be okay. Yeah, where there is sun. Let me check if it is going to be okay. sit here again no it is not also okay yeah. let me try yeah so not no problem yeah so uh, that is what I usually tell her like that is the thing you know but uh It is her and me who has been keeping this marriage together. Nobody else, you know. Yeah, because I'm trying like a man. Maybe there are some things that maybe I, you guys doesn't know. But I'm really, really trying. But you find, the more you try, I was being accused like you're not taking care of your family. You know, but at some point I usually see like, hey, maybe I'm going so much outside and I'm um, taking too much time outside. That is what I thought, you know. But now, it reached a point where uh, there was a lady who came here. She had already been coming home for almost five times. Uh, then the fifth time, I had money on my wallet, at my wallet. This money, it was for fuel for motorbike because I usually put aside that because I don't want to run short of motorbike money because that one I cannot move then this lady came very early in the morning she talked to me oh my daughter she got a problem her knees she was cut with the glass you know so she's at home you know and I doesn't have a way to support her you know so she has already been coming but now that was the fifth time. Then I said, eh, okay, God, I have got some money in my wallet. Let me take this money and give her. Then immediately, of course I did not have money. Sometimes I'd be without money, you know. Yeah, my wife tells me, you need to, there is some medicine that we need to go and buy for Sasha. As a man, I just said, eh, but I'm not in a good position, you know. But it turned out that it was like I was put in the, you know. Then boom. Oh. You don't care for us. You know. Ah, really? Is that the thing? But I usually do. I might say, I don't have money, but I'm going to. I, I, I usually don't say like I don't have that money, but I don't bring. I, I bring. You know, so... I was like confused, like, hey, what's happening, man? Why am I, why am I getting this kind of uh, things from you, you know? So, she did not talk, you know. I just, don't, I don't want to talk about the past, but I just want to talk about this time when she went back to Nairobi. Guys, you realize when my wife wanted to go to Nairobi, I was so sad. Maybe somebody is saying, hey, Otenga, why are you telling us all this, you know? I don't want to speak it out because you are my online community, how foolish I'm going to be. But again, so that at least whenever, maybe if any, any, any case something happens, you'd have already known the truth, you know? Yeah, so when she goes to Nairobi, she's going to get a company in Nairobi and this company is going to cross her mind, tell her, don't do this, don't do this, you know. And as sometimes, maybe she sometimes go to Nairobi, and coming back might be a problem. 
you know but later she just come back i usually sit back and say hey am i the problem and i usually say this why am i caring for others and i'm a problem to my family you know i usually say that yeah but uh, it uh, turned out that one is my realization today yesterday when we came from the fundraising my wife sat me down and talked to me and told me what has been happening you know so okay i did not know why when she goes to nairobi she was having trouble but uh it is true that that's why i was so sad and i did not want her to go you know that's the reason as to why whenever she goes there is some little trouble you know but i realized it is not from her side it is from pressure that she's getting from people so when she went i really struggled so hard some people sent me donation but there was money a big money that was needed for the hospital yeah and i had to call one of my friends that is among you one of my friends you know, to help me with money to help him hospital bill you know and i'm so glad she came through thank you so much for what you did and all those those who supported you so the mom got keyword and uh my wife decided like oh i'll be coming so she was not coming so i was wondering what's the problem you know i did not share that because i'm not quick in sharing my family problems online you know that is my personal thing but i'm just talking it out because i don't want something to happen bad then you know but i know one two uh, two people we shared i talked to two people who are watching this video i know we talked about it yeah and i shared my feelings and uh, you know we prayed about it because i also included a pastor that is my friend and he, we, i know he prayed for me about it and I requested for that, you know, and challenges are all over in this world. So, yesterday, my wife told me something that uh, made me to love her so much. What my wife told me is uh, the plan that they had. When she went, the mom was in the hospital, by the way, that was true. She was admitted to the hospital and she couldn't manage to move you know yeah then my wife was taken to a pastor she's telling me she was taken to a pastor who can see the future you know that is the problem that we have in africa and that is why even in my community, I am so sorry, here in my community, there are some people who doesn't go to somebody's house because they believe through the pastors or through the uh, some people that told them that this person is killing you. So my wife was taken to a pastor and my wife, when she went to a pastor, that guy, that guy told him a lot of things, you know. Now pretending to be seeing the future, that guy told my wife, you have, your parents were killed by uh, witchcraft. You know, your parents were killed by witchcraft. And that home that you are, around the villagers in that home, they are not good people. You know. So, you, you will try as so much to be with that guy that you want to be. But at long last, you will leave him. And uh, that is what she was telling me yesterday. So I'm going to tell you the plan that now they had with the pastor. You know. Why am I against anybody who is calling the name of the Lord every now and then? Why? God is good. And I believe and I know God. And that is why I am doing maybe whatever I'm doing. You know, 
I am not doing this to gain, man. If I would have been doing this one to gain, I would have been doing much on my side, you know. But I don't, man. I end even up, maybe if there's a project that does it, is not complete, I use my money, you know. So, I have to say this, man. So the pastor told him, you'll try as much as you can, but you will, you know, you will not be with that girl. Then I asked my wife, hold a minute, if that is truly a pastor and I have got a phone number, did, she, did he told you what if I do, me personally, everything can be okay? He did not touch me. If he can see the future, did he see any bad side of me? No, he was just concentrated on me and the person that we went with there. Boom. Okay, I'm always against, I'm, 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 I'm into people that pray, hey God, help me out, God, support me, God, please, I'm six, God, you know, I'm just, I'm in love with that kind of people, that just pray from their hearts, that, but don't pretend like now they are prophets, and the Bible says there will come a time of false prophets. So, they had a plan, like my wife come back, take the things, arrange the things, and move. Yeah. That was yesterday night, is when I was being told, I was like, man, it was indeed a good plan, it sounds like a good plan. But did you realize these people were putting you in the mess? Because she had a plan, she was confused, my wife. She was having a headache. You know, even when we were going to bring the water, you realize in the video she was not willing to talk too much. You know. Also with how people are treating us, now with that one. You know. She, she, when she came from the Nairobi, she literally wasn't active. Even if, uh, uh, as you can see, see, she has not posted any video since she came. I told her, hey, are you going to do this? No. She did not post any video. You know? So, they had a plan. She leaves and go. You know? And you know, guys, at home, we have got chicken. And that is not my business it is family business and you guys are watching videos of chicken farmers how productive it is you know so my wife i don't know whether she was just looking for trouble but she was like hey i want to i, I want to go look for a job then i was like now you are helping me of course even if you want to go look for a job but you are helping me the chicken are here and they will help us together you know when i go look our money outside and you are helping in taking care of home no problem because this struggle i'm struggle for the family it brings issues 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 that time she had already she had not decided to tell me that so she came through and told me man it was very very heartbroken but i'm 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 happy yeah, you know, why, first of all, she told me, if she would have been, she would have just decided to go like that, without saying, but I think, she told me because she loves me, and she was confused, by the way, let me tell you, uh, yesterday, at that time when she said, she was having headache, you know, stress, you don't know what to do. Okay, I was the one that was stressed up when I hear this, you know. But at the same time, I was happy. By the way, I was really happy, but at the same time, I was stressed up. I asked myself, what does people want from me? What have I done to deserve that, you know? So, it was so crazy, man. It was so crazy. Yeah, but I love the fact that she said so in any case she had already told me everything i know who to trust and i know who to don't trust 
and right now I don't trust anybody because even here she went and shared somebody with that thing and that person did not tell me that you know me I came back but I am leaving and I, I told her if you shared that thing with that person it would have been good when that person come and told me like this is a plan if that person really really loves me and one good good for me by the way marriage is not easy guys most more so in africa for the young ladies if you're a young lady watching this video only strong women only a strong lady can make it towards the end because ladies are being convinced very easily did you know you can buy your wife a five million car a five million car and somebody cheat lie to her with 500 kenyan shillings for fuel so she sees the five million as nothing and sees 500 as something so ladies are having troubles you know so only a strong lady can win the marriage battle guys i know nobody is perfect in this life everybody's battling their marriages issues battling it up and down everybody in this world i know maybe even if you're watching this video maybe there is a battle that you have a battle with your marriage you know you know maybe it is always said like this when something is near you don't see the value unless it is gone you know so uh i don't know guys that is what happened and my wife loves me because if she couldn't love me she could she would have not told me that but you know i hate those people that pretend to be knowing the future yeah. that guy if he's truly a pastor he would have told my wife okay he would have said something that is to support us or he would have called me and tell me come to Nairobi so we get into prayer and any pastor that is in Nairobi is a liar because they went there to hustle so they can be like, oh, I want to convince this person, you know. And I told my wife, what if the devil is using that pastor? Maybe the uh, the pastor's wife maybe died. That person's wife. Let me not even call him a pastor because that is not a pastor. Let me say, maybe the wife of that person dies, or maybe there was a disagreement in between their marriage. Then the devil is now using that pastor. To destroy people's homes if she can convince you to leave me and go how many people do you think he has convinced to leave maybe the, that 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 person is in, in a mission the devil inside that person is in a mission to destroy as many homes as many marriages as he can in the name of deceiving people's eyes you know I will pray and will worship my God, but I won't cry. I might go to the corner, I cry, like I remember when I see the greatness that God has done to me, I feel like crying. You see, when I got my coach, 50 plus, 50 plus thousand coach, I cried, I cried. Because I did not imagine like I can have that kind of coach, you know. I'm crying because of the greatness of the Lord. But I can't go in front of the people and start yelling and crying and worshipping and doing this, yet I'm lying. I know maybe, no matter how hard we try, we won't see the kingdom of the Lord. But at least I shall have done good. You know. You know. And God, I am not right, I'm not righteous, you know. Man, the story of our home is so bad. 
but I'm not right that God now help use me to help others yeah. so guys that is the thing that is happening and uh, we are going to be with my wife and our wish everybody would have been like that we have been having trouble even if you ask my brother Vincent I will have already been sharing with him my brother if you're watching this video I know this one I have not said to you but that is the thing so it was that easy that my marriage was going to end but again nobody people were going to say hey Otenga you are bad you can't be with the wife then some people when they hear my story like I did not do nothing when they trust me they were going to hate my wife then my wife was going to be confused you know but it is good even if now they use whatever they can use so that she leaves me but already we shall have known the truth but you guys pray for my marriage pray for my family because the devil is attacking me in so big way because this is past human being you know if truly 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 the devil is attacking me yeah because even the, like people usually run go to pastors for advices but i think that was a wrong one as if like i was a monster oh man guys did you know even money i get for my wife i don't even take one shilling out of it i give her but did you know men here they take even what the wife has hustled for so hard and i was like then what am i not doing right oh guys what am i not doing right maybe you might tell me because i asked did he tell you what i am doing wrong no he did not say okay according to you is there anything that i'm doing too wrong no i don't see anything that you're doing to, doing wrong you know but she was under pressure and she was she whenever she goes to nairobi she's being put under pressure you know and i usually say this if you're watching like nigerian movies are international if you haven't watched them go watch them eh? they teach us you know whereby a friend of yours come lie to you about this person that your husband is bad then you leave the husband you go suffer the way they are suffering you know but me i believe in one thing guys i will continue doing the right thing not to please somebody but just to do the right thing you know because if i say like oh i want to do i want to please i cannot please everybody but if you do the right thing they're gonna hate it today but tomorrow they're gonna come back and say man you're doing the right thing you did you know so that is how my marriage almost ended man my marriage almost ended man I'll try as I can to make it not to end. I know life is not constant, you know, like I cannot control life. But I'll try. But they have been trying. You know, I know sometimes, you know, marriage, marriage has got issues up and down. You know, maybe sometimes you bring it, sometimes the other party bring it, you know. It is not easy, you know. And you know, young couples, you know, sometimes, you know. Yeah. But it is what it is. If I believe in this, reason as to why I always want to be with my wife, always, the good outdo the bad. But if it reaches a situation where the bad outdo the good, I'll be like, no. You know. 
even me yeah family my camera become so hot and i couldn't manage to continue recording the video because it turned to be so much hot yeah until it went off yeah, so all the same that is what has just taken place and i'll try to try my level best to make everything to be okay yeah and uh, for that reason i may yeah before we start mama alex project i may go out yeah to relax a little bit with me and my family not in a bad way but sometimes there is when things happen that you need to at least try to yeah, do some simple small small things uh, that can make my, my family happy because since I get into YouTube too much I haven't taken my wife out yeah, like when I wanted to go out that was uh, early this year when we shall have so that we start other projects but the two projects came through that is Mama Obama and uh, Grandma Bravis so I was advised let's finish this project it's when you go so I'm going to request before I start another project I'm going to request I might have a rest and then I come back even if it is two days but away from the village then we come back we continue I know you guys love me and I will continue supporting me if God allows you know but I know you will only continue supporting me if I do the right thing if I don't do the right thing nobody will want themselves to associate themselves with me so that is what happened maybe I'm still going to be looking into it in a serious note but what I know God loves me all of on all because God is the one that talked to my wife and tell her to say the truth you know yeah because she was being given ideas of maybe going even outside the country you know, like the devil is a liar you know? like you're running away of somebody who doesn't even have any harmful thing towards you or maybe i don't know what's the problem or maybe the this i don't know yeah. but anyway thank you so much and may god bless you and keep on praying for me please pray for me this battle when my mother died i cried and i said who is going to pray for me the people told me Hotenga, you believe you can do it who is going to pray for me but my mom gone i got lots and lots of moms who can pray for me who is going to support me by the way you can pray wherever far you are but it can reach to us here like for instance b or williams when we pray for her here everything is going to be successful so you know no matter how far you are you can pray for me and your prayers can be very very effective it forced me i wanted just to be home today i did not even talk about any project today but uh, we will uh, rectify we will continue with what we're supposed to do yeah but i might go i might go out i might go out And may God bless you.
as you will be with me wherever we will be because my wife was also bringing suggestion if we go look for a place because that pastor told him that that village is not good I say this village is good my people my subscribers told me and I believe if you believe in which it will come to you if you don't believe it won't come to you and the witch only goes to people who are doing it but if you don't do it you believe I right now believe in one thing I believe in God God of course I believe in God and I don't want to believe in pastor I believe in God may God bless you my dearest people and pray for me most importantly I don't trust anybody I can't share my thing with maybe somebody here. So I can and life it is a bigger class. Things that we are not taught in school, we learn them in life. And no matter how hard you try, bad thing will just follow you. Even here, there's some ladies who are talking ill about my wife so much. But I told my wife, don't say anything. Keep quiet. Let them say whatever they want to say. The reason as why they are talking too much is they don't want you to be here. Storms won't last forever. And after this, Nothing is big as a family. And in Nairobi, there are some ladies who kill their husbands. Yeah, because they have been lied with to a friend that, oh, you know, so that pastor is a wicked, is a wicked pastor, and I say, May God, the lightning and the thunder of the Lord, may it come from above you and you live. I always doesn't want to curse anybody because I doesn't have that power. But may you, may the will of the God, of the Lord, be done to you. My wife. has no one I have to say that my wife has no one has no sister has no brother I am his, I am the sister and I'm the brother to her she was born unfortunately the mom passed I'm sorry guys she's not going to be happy with me telling the world this you know just nobody. Yeah. So nobody can feel the pain when she's suffering outside there. Because I see people, ladies are being lied to, then they go, then they start suffering. Now they does not have a place to live. Yeah, so that is the kind of life that uh, maybe somebody, you know, want my wife to be living, you know. But I thank God, because if it were not God, maybe the devil have, would have overpowered my wife and it would have gone like, it would have been like living some kind of miserable life. And me, I doesn't have a hand of her living. And people have been like, oh man, you are a bad person. You left your family, they are suffering. Where are they? You know, but somebody, you know, but I'm so glad she told me this. I, I doesn't have any hand in it, you know. You know, so. Anyway, guys. <sighs> May God bless you so much. Keep on supporting us.
we won't lose hope in the charity project that we do we'll do look at mama alex she need a place to stay may god bless you so much and all the men when your wife is trying to bring trouble wherever you are know that behind it maybe there is somebody who's pushing her you know when we read the bible a man's a man's heart is strong that is the reason as to why a serpent the the the, the, the serpent that was in the garden of eden look for somebody to convince and this the serpent says if i go to the to the man he's not going to listen to me you know when i go to a man he's not going to listen now let me go to you know, a woman so and again women are very innocent women are the ones that are bad i'm sorry because you find somebody who is married flirting with somebody's wife you know it is rare cases that a woman seduce a man i know sometimes it happens when they like you they like you and they will do things that will make you to seduce them but they will not come direct hey beauty you know hey handsome you know so women are very very fragile creatures that they might bring problem you might tell them oh mine and you is done but you don't know that she's very innocent somebody is now having his mind and playing with like now having a remote control you know you know man somebody might make me look so bad in front of my family and somebody too might make you look bad in front of your family do you know that now they act nicely you know so that is it i'm sorry i'm sorry guys i don't know why but i had to share this so that you know i am a human being and we pass some trouble too i'm not doing this I'm not doing this for views or what. I'm not. Or maybe sympathy, no. Because even if it was not YouTube and this thing was happening, it would have just happened, you know. But I wouldn't have, you know, we YouTubers, we got a platform. We can share whatever we are going through. I'm being trustworthy, you know, I usually been told when I talk to my uncles, my friends, the, my aunties, my moms, you know, they usually tell me one thing. Being a trustworthy, like, you say something when you have got a problem. Yeah, being a trustworthy. That is it, guys. May God bless you. Pray for me. And that is it. God bless you so much. And most importantly, pray for me and my family and my wife. But if my wife will be watching this video, thank you so much. How I wish God would have been walking into all the ladies like that and they're saying what is taking place. If she disturbs me, I know now where the problem is coming from. I'll, I'll know how to do, how to go about it. Thank you so much, guys. And pray for my family as I pray for you all. God bless you to be upon you and your loved ones.